anybody that comes over here to play basketball, I mean, they want to get signed. That's the main goal. Going into the scrimmage, JB told me, like, play hard. Um, they're looking at you, but it's on you, you know, and he's always a big advocate of um, respect is earned, not given. We came out and we started playing, and I'm not gonna lie, we we got beat pretty bad. After the game, like I kind of just like walked outside because you know I thought it was over. Um, JB ended up pulling me to the side and was like, "Hey, this team wants to talk to you." And I'm like, "We just got they just beat us by 30 though. Why do they want to talk to me?" And like you know, I, I did good or whatever, but you know I was more so focused on the win. So when he called me over there, he had the guy hands me his WhatsApp. I, we exchanged numbers, and I'm just I'm excited. I'm like, man, I've never been signed before. Like this is crazy. This is what I came over here to do. I'm actually from St. Louis, and I moved to Atlanta not too long ago. And um, I was playing in different tournaments and stuff like that, just kind of getting my motion. And one day I was at the gym, just practicing by myself. And this guy comes up to me. His name is um, his name is actually Jeremy. And, um, he said, hey, man, you good, and I think you can go overseas and do all this and do all that. So he calls his dad, and he says, um, hey, dad, I got this guy at the gym. He's pretty good or whatever. Um, so his dad said he knew a guy named JB. So he said, send him some film. I sent him some film. He sent it to JB. And JB said, okay, let me take a look at the guy. Um, have him come to one of my tournaments. So I go to one of his tournaments. And uh, he puts me in a jersey, and I play for his team. And he kind of gets a feel and kind of fills me out and stuff like that. And we end up going to the championship, but we end up losing. And after the game, he walks up to me and says, hey, you know what I'm saying? He takes my WhatsApp. And I texted him immediately when I got home and was like, so how do you think I played? And if you know JB, you know you're a straightforward person. He said, Ralph, I do not think you're ready to play overseas. Like, you need to work on your skills and stuff like that. So I'm taking it as, okay, like, maybe I didn't play good. So then he, t then he tells me about this opportunity and then this league that he's having overseas over here. And he was like, um, I want you to come out, see what you can do. Freeze, 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 freeze. Now, where the ball at? Every time you shoot the ball, shoot it on lines. Don't shoot it over here. Always make sure you're on lines. They throw it to you and you catch it, adjust it, get on the lines. You know why? Because that bitch always got to spin. It's always got to spin. Our first interactions were rocky because if you don't know JV, he's a straightforward guy. You know, um, he gonna tell it like it is. He gonna be real with you. He's probably the realest guy I've ever met in my life. Um, our first couple of convers conversations, he was like. I was asking him questions and he was like, hey, stop asking all these fucking questions. And I'm like, I'm just trying to ask for clarification. And he was like, man, look, you not no man, this, this, and that. And I'm just trying to figure out what to say to him. So I start going off and we, 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 we cussing each other out. And over time, I just had learned that everything he was telling me, he, it wasn't coming out of hatred or animosity towards me. It was coming out of just being straightforward with me because, you know, being over here, I'm seeing what he was saying about um, the level that you have to be at in order to play over here. So my first down, I touched down to Santiago. It was totally different. Like I said, I'm from St. Louis and Atlanta. You know, they have big airports. So I come here, it's this small airport. I don't know how to speak the language over here. So I'm giving the dude my passport. He's saying something. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, where's my bags at? And um, I walk out the airport and I didn't know how to get a taxi or Uber or nothing. So this guy walks up to me with his taxi sign and he says taxi. So I get in the car with him. He don't know no type of English. So. I'm pulling out my Google Translate. I'm like, oh man, he about to take me somewhere and I don't know what's going on. So I was kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. So it was, it was kind of like a culture shock for me. So the I didn't have any pesos. I had a car. So I, I'm trying to tell the taxi driver, like, take me to an ATM. Take me to an ATM. Like, money, money. So he takes me to the ATM. And my car wasn't working. So I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. I'm like, man, I don't want this taxi driver to pull off on me. He already don't understand what I'm saying. So 
eventually I got it to work and eventually I got to the hotel and everything. And, um, but um, overall, I can say that I'm kind of learning more. I'm kind of learning that I do want to learn Spanish just because it's, just, it's hard. Even the team that I'm on, um, when they're trying to talk to me about running plays and just in general, like, they'll say something exciting to me and I'm excited, but I don't know what they're saying, so. inauguration when we were standing on the court and we were doing like the Pledge of Allegiance and just doing their inauguration. I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. It was my first pro game. Um, I really didn't know what to expect coming into it, but I knew that I had been playing a game of basketball for a long time, so that's what I was thinking on. So, um, you know, I was going through the motions for a while, just trying to get to know my teammates a little better because that was the first time I actually interacted with them. I got comfortable and I start getting my teammates involved. Some of my teammates on my team, they actually speak English, so it kind of helped me out. So with that, I kind of was able to get comfortable and able to get into a groove with my game, and we came out with the W.